Okay, you two, we about to fry up some fish and it's gonna be good as hell. We're gonna do catfish today. We're gonna do it with some mashed potatoes, thyme and garlic uh, flavored mashed potatoes. Uh, watch this, check it out. I hope you enjoy it. Leave some comments when it's over. Let me know what you think. Okay, so right here we got the potatoes, the garlic, and the thyme. This is what I'm gonna do for my mashed potatoes. So just starting out taking a look at that. Um, we're simply going to dice those mashed potatoes. Those are pretty red uh, potatoes. I love them, new potatoes. Um, and I don't peel them. That's one of the reasons I like them because you don't have to peel them. And I like the taste of the peels and it's just easier. I got a whole bunch of garlic there. You watch my videos, you know it's a recurring thing with me. I love garlic. I try to find a way to put it uh, in anything that I can. <coughs> Excuse me, in anything that I can. And then I've got. Uh, some fresh thyme there. Um, I don't know how many sprigs it is, but it's quite a bit. So potatoes, garlic, thyme. I'm going to use some salt and pepper in the pot also. Uh, potatoes are going to be really good. We'll take a look at that a little bit later. All right, here just taking a quick look at the batter that I use. And you can buy store-bought batter. You can make your own combination. You can use all cornmeal, all flour. You do whatever you want to do, but this is one that I think really works. It's worked well for me. But it's, it's 75% uh, flour and 25% uh, cornmeal and then you just mix it up really good and it makes a really good uh, batter it comes out with really good texture and your fish will fry well in there uh, so that's what you're going to do for the batter okay so right here for our potatoes our mashed potatoes we're just going to bring the water to a strong boil I'm going to add a whole lot of kosher salt as I just did um, and then we're going to go in uh, at some point anytime now with the potatoes so we're going to drop our potatoes in there, and you're going to see in a second I'm going to drop one of these potatoes. But I usually try to use around six or seven potatoes. Um, and I think this is the one that's about to bounce off the edge of the stove. Um, there it is. I knew it was coming. So one potato down, so I think I ended up with five in there. Whatever. It'll be good. I'm going to add this uh, thyme, and then I'm going to go in with the garlic. And we're just going to let that boil. And what will happen is when it gets ready, you're just going to use, uh, that's some other seasonings I threw in there. That's some garlic, that's some granulated garlic and granulated onion and pepper that just went in the pot. Um, and then when it's boiled, they're soft, I'll let them go for about an hour, maybe I'll, maybe a little bit more than that. Just going to get a potato masher, add about two or three teaspoons of milk, get a potato masher, mash them up, they'll be right. You're going to love it. Trust me, you're going to love it. All right, let's move on. All right, right here, just going to take a quick look at the fish we, we, we're eating. Again, this is a catfish, and you can see I cut this. Uh, this is one filet that I cut into four sections. Really fat, nice fish, um, very meaty, very clean. It's a pretty, pretty piece of fish. Um, so let's fry it up. Let's fry it up. All right, right here, we're going to season it up. And you don't have to get overly elaborate all the time. I got some fish seasoning that I make um, that's really custom made that I use that I really like. But this is just, I've got some cracked pepper that's already on there. And then what you see me doing with this, uh, this electric... Uh, little grinder is just putting some uh, sea salt and garlic on there. Sea salt, garlic, fresh cracked pepper. That's good. That's good. And you know from here that's another good look how meaty that catfish is. Look how meaty that piece is that I'm picking up. But we're just going to dredge this in our flour cornmeal mixture. Um, and all I'm showing you here is that I, you can see I, I grab flour from the bottom, put it on top. I really rub it in. I really like the flour to get in the nooks and crannies and the little cracks of the fish. Um, I think it makes a difference ultimately when you fry it. Um, as opposed to just, you know, quickly dipping it in there and dipping it out. And I don't use any batter or anything in the way of, you know, buttermilk or milk or anything like that to help the flour stick. So this is what it is right here. I dip it in real good. I flip it a few times. I really get it right. So right here, I'm going into grease with it. All right. The grease is already heated up. What I do is I heat my oil uh, up on medium heat and then I back it down. So I'll heat it to medium when it's ready. I will cut it down to uh, medium low right before I put my fish in. Okay. And then that's, that's how I cook it on medium low. All right, and there it is, uh, frying. Uh, and it's about to come out in a second. But you can see uh, that the grease, uh, I didn't show you when I first put it in. But the way I tell when it's done, because you can't really go by time, different size pieces of fish are going to fry for different amounts of time. But when that grease dies down and the bubbling isn't very vigorous anymore, um, just like when you're frying chicken, that's when you know that it's done. Okay, so take a look at that fish. Look at that. That's something that's special. That's something else right there. Boy. I tell you, I'm going to tell you it was good too. I ate this, uh, I cooked this a few days ago uh, when I made this video and I tore that fish up. It was good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and drop uh, the last two pieces that I had. Um, there you go. See, you see how much more the oil, well, it'll start boiling or bubbling a little bit more uh, in a second. So we're dropping those two pieces. Now let's go back and take a look 
uh, those two pieces that we just took out of there and get a good look at those. Look at that. That's something else. I mean, that's just a pretty, pretty piece of fish. And in my experience, no, oh, it doesn't have to be the case, but um, a well-fried piece of fish usually looks good. You know, it's, it's, it looks like that, as a matter of fact, curious enough. And that's a good-looking piece of fish, and it tasted good, too. Usually, if a fish is ugly when it's fried and you take it out of the pan, it usually isn't going to taste good. Now, it might look good and still not taste good, but certainly, if it's ugly, it almost certainly is going to be nasty. And there you go, the final plate with the mashed potatoes, with the garlic thyme mashed potatoes. Uh, it was excellent. I tore it up, slept like a baby after I ate it. That's a shame, but that's the truth. Uh, so hit me with the comments. Thumbs up, uh, like, you know, all that good stuff, comment, uh, whatever. Subscribe if you're not. Uh, let me know what you thought. And thanks for watching. I appreciate you every time. Peace.